watched our next guest get swabbed, sanitized, and seduced by 31 eligible bachelors. Please welcome our first ever pandemic bachelorette, Claire Crawley. Hi, Claire. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Has there ever been a worse time in history to date two dozen men at the same time than now? <laughs> <laughs> right? Depends who you ask, but... You know, your season... Uh, considering, as you, considering everything. Your season was supposed to start taping in the spring, as The Bachelorette typically does, but then they had to stop production, they had to call it off. So how long was it then that you had to wait? Oh, gosh, we waited from March until July, so... And what do you do during that time? Obviously, you can't date. Um, because that would ruin the show. Uh, what do you do during that big, sudden gap of time? The next best thing, I Googled all the men that were going to be on the season, <laughs> took lots of notes. So you, and, had, uh, the, you had the list of the guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they put the, the names out. Oh, and since you spied on everybody uh, in advance. I think the whole world or anybody who was involved in The Bachelor Nation spied on these guys. Yeah. So were there people then you went in going yes or no before you even met them? I wouldn't say that it was a hard yes or a hard no, but there were definitely things that I saw that were red flags. I'm, for example, I'm not a drinker at all, and some of the guys were boozing it up, partying, doing backflips off of boats, and I was like, is that my husband? Probably not. Uh-huh. Interesting. So maybe that explains why when you met Dale during the introductions, you were really so sure that, or you seemed like overwhelmed and you said, oh, that's my husband. And it was like a, a, a rare behind the scenes kind of moment on the show. It, it, Cause you knew a little bit about him going in? Yeah, he was one of the guys that was on fast for earlier in the season um, when, it, when it was supposed to air earlier. And being able to look him up, there was just a lot of the things that aligned with what I'm looking for that he kind of embodied. So, yeah, there was a lot of things. Interesting. So, and then, now we all know what the rumor is. The rumor is that you uh, hit it off with Dale so famously that you said, that's it. I'm not going through this charade. I'm not going through this whole process. I found the guy. That's why I came. And adios. Goodbye, everybody. I'm leaving. True or false? <laughs> Well, that's what the rumor is. I can confirm that that is false. But I, that, that is not false. Like that, so. Oh, you're confirming that that that's is false. false. Correct. Interesting. So you might be lying right now because I'm pretty sure that it ended right there. Like that they supposedly brought in, they had to go for a pinch bachelorette and bring in Tasha to fill out the rest of the season. Did that happen? And remember, Jimmy, I showed up. I sh You are <laughs> under that? oath, and you are speaking not just to America, but to Jesus himself is watching this. I promise you, I showed up. I was there for the journey. I was there to fall in love, and I saw my season through um, for, to find out what I was looking for. Let me just say this. If you did indeed cut out early because you realized you found the guy you wanted, I think that's great. I applaud you for doing that because that is supposed to be what... And we know that the reality is some of these bachelors, bachelorettes, they know who they're going to pick the first night. They just go through this mm -hmm. whole process, this long bachelor party of, um, you know, of doing whatever they're going to do with all of these different people. You instead yeah. said, I'll see you later. Dale and I are hitting the road together. Good luck to everybody. <laughs> yes? <laughs> oh, you'll have to wait and see. That's not. That's not. I don't like to that. wait and see. I want to know now. <laughs> I have things to do. <laughs> right. I. I will tell you. I. I'm a woman that knows exactly what I want and exactly what I'm looking for, and that's that's a benefit benefit of being 39. So, you'll have to see. They keep acting like you're uh, 75 years old. It's it's ridiculous. You'd think no. based on how many times that gets mentioned that uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was the Bachelorette. <laughs> Oh, man, she would be so lucky, right? Claire, we would all be so lucky to have her to her one last season. Claire, uh, may I ask this? Have you met Tasha? I have never met Tasha. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, who do you think she's going to pick 
of the guys you left behind, of all your rejects. All the rejects that you left in your wake, who do you think Tasha will pick? Jimmy, I could have sworn I am, I'm the one sitting here. I am the bachelorette, so what are we talking about here? <laughs> Where is Dale right now? Is that his chandelier? <laughs> <laughs> this is not Dale's chandelier. That is not Dale's chandelier. It's an amazing chandelier, though, right? I will say this. ABC has got to be so bummed if you did indeed leave the show because they were having... Take a look at this. They were having so much fun with your name. Claire, your schedule. We do declare. You're not that clairvoyant. You want clarity. You want us to clarify. You want clarification. But you don't have top secret clearance. Yeah. What are they going to do now? Nothing rhymes with Tasha. It's like maybe alopecia. I don't know. That's not, it's not so sexy. You well, got to go with the play on words with my name. Claire, I want you to know that when we do find out what did or did not happen, I'm going to review this tape and we are going to uh, analyze your responses and see if you were indeed being truthful or if you were not. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. You're a tough nut to crack, Claire, but thank you for being with us. <laughs> the Bachelorette, Tuesday nights, ABC. We'll be right back with One Republic. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.